Hello and welcome to this Your Business Card Guide tutorial. Today we're taking a look at the Corel Photo Paint's ability to adjust images, things for perspective, uh, getting rid of the lens effect, and, and straightening an image. So let's take a look at a couple of a uh, couple of those options. Here's an image taken from uh, ground floor, sort of street level, and uh, angled up. And you can see from the uh, pole here that the distance here and here are different. Obviously, it's a uh, it looks as though the photo is leaning back. Obviously, the camera was leaning, and it creates this effect. So you have an option to change the perspective slightly and make it look a little bit more like it was taken straight on. Simple as clicking Adjust, Straighten Image, and then we've got a variety of options here. And what I want to play with is the vertical perspective. And you can see that as I play with that, and obviously I'm doing it this way, you can see now it looks like it's leaning away quite a bit. If I go the other direction, however, and using the grid lines as a, as a good gauge, I can see this pole now looks pretty much the same, top and bottom. And uh, the windows look pretty good. I can, again, tweak it just slightly. And you can, uh, again, depending on the image you have, it's not complete magic, um, but you can also affect the horizontal perspective as well. I'll just see what that looks like for us. Maybe I'll bring it back a little bit this way because the camera was obviously angling up and a little bit uh, on the left was uh, further away than what was on the right. And I'll say OK to that. And you can see that now the image has changed and looks as though it was taken from um, more of a straight on type perspective. And again, it's not magic. You can't make up for a really horrible photograph with tools like this. But by just spending a couple of minutes playing with the adjustments, you can get an image that looks uh, very bad to something that looks pretty good or maybe acceptable, uh, again, depending on what exactly you're looking to do. The other effect we're going to look at is the lens effect, and that's sort of the image kind of bulging or um, looking as though it was taken through a bit of a lens. So you can see it's subtle in this image, but you can see it if you look along this, this section here. Um, the image kind of bows, looks like it's bulging, something's pushing from the center, and so all of this is drifting away into the distance, if you will, and you can actually now adjust that um, a little bit. You can't do too much, but you can do a little bit. We'll go back into straighten image. This time we're going to do the lens distortion. And this is what will allow us to compensate for the effect that was uh, brought on by the perspective or the type of camera. Uh, if you've got, say, a, an action camera that you'll see GoPros or Drift HDs and those sort of things, those tend to have a very wide angle lens and they can create this effect if you're close to an object and you may have something that you've taken a picture of and you just want to tweak it uh, and make it a little bit more acceptable than, uh, you're, than having something look as though it's bulging out and you can see it here with these grid lines uh, a little bit more of the effect so I'm gonna take this and try to uh, correct I'm trying to correct this barrel distortion which is what I have in this image and again, not magic, but you can compensate for quite a bit, uh, and you can see how the effect, you know, it's improved. It's not, it's not the best thing in the world here, but uh, I can also now, just like we did previously, I can affect the vertical. Let that adjust, and using these, these guidelines, this grid, I can play with it until I'm happy and feel like I have an image that you know, it's more what I wanted. Obviously, I'm, I'm doing this very quickly, so I'm going to say OK to that. And you can see now that the image is doesn't look like it's bowing out in the middle anymore, and it looks a bit straighter. Again, not like I'm looking up at it, but like I've taken the picture straight on. So those are a couple of the ways you can use Corel Photo Paint's Adjust and Straighten Image tool to help correct images that uh, were a little bit distorted, had a perspective issue, uh, or were simply uh, had that lens effect that was distorting the whole thing.